Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Last time, we took down the first team leader of the Sinnoh region, being Roark, and got ourselves our first gym badge, being the Coal Badge. Now you can actually swipe that back and forth, and it'll start to shine, but that's just all aesthetic, and it'll get dusty again all the time. Also, Chimchar, aka Wukong, evolved into Monferno. And uh, Poseidon also did very good, and now it's time to level up Sonic some more. Now, as soon as you take down Rock, and you make sure you've done everything here in Allberg that there is to do, just watch the other video to know. There's not too much, honestly, but hey. And here we have Barry again. Whoops, Jamie, you got the gym badge, huh? So the city's the next place with the gym. That gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. Uh, I'm in my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jibble Life City next stop, the Eternal City Gym Badge. And that is exactly where we are going to be heading, but it's a while to get up there. Now that's also where the bicycle is, which I've spoke about already. I was talking about when I got lost there when I was young. And you can also use Rock Smash and go up there and do all that. Uh, you'll actually go down below and you can actually find some more Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually playing past 8 o'clock. So, uh, the music's gonna be different. Um, but yeah, as soon as you take down Roark, come head back to your life as there's stuff going on. But this is the music I'm saying, it's so good at night. Oh, and look, I had to ruin it. Tell me, if you're not obtained a Pelper, it is not a Pelper free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement. But basically, as soon as you go down to the uh, ground floor, um, uh, to the bottom floor, and. Um, and the Pokemon Center, you get it. But listen to this music! Oh! Oh my god. Oh, the vibes, man. It's so good. Mystery Man. No, 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 no! Professor Owen, you must comply. And a lot of your research findings for free naturally. Any to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. As you can see, Professor Owen is in a bit of a pickle. And we're gonna go help him out. And that's all big gym badge, I see. Haven't you given your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Anyway, he's like, have you got some more Pokemon? We're like, yes. And he's like, alright, please help Dawn take down um, these two grunts for us. So, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, you'd expect, with all his knowledge of Pokemon, he'd actually own some Pokemon, but hey-ho. <laughs> I guess that's not the case. Uh, but yeah, me and Dawn are going to go take down the Galactic Grunts. Here we go. Let's go. And you can also see uh, Dawn actually only has a starter in this battle. Um, but she's actually very helpful in this. Um, if she's got Turd Twig, then it's going to be the weak set of three at the moment. Um, because um, Poison is super effective on him and Grass is obviously not very effective on Poison. Um, but he has Razor Leaf at this point, which will attack both, so he's still pretty good. Um, Turtwig's my very first Pokemon that I ever had. I have, oh, I love that Pokemon so much. Uh, same with Grottle and Torterra, but... Yeah, uh, Glamio can be a bit of a problem. Um, using Fury Swipes, and the first thing will always use Fake Out. Um, and that's guaranteed chance to flinch one of your Pokemon, and it can only be used at the start of the battle anyway, so it's not too bad after that. And nice one, Turtwig. He's gonna help us take that down. Uh, here we go. Sonic gets to level 11. Good stuff, good stuff. And uh, one Pokemon remains. But it's Stunky. Uh, but yeah, Glamio. Even in Platinum, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Glamio is actually only in Pearl. Um, but, well, I'm not too sure with Platinum this time. I'm not. There might be a place later on, but if you're playing Pearl, you definitely can. Um, I'll have to make sure when it comes to finding Glamio later on, even when you do find it, which is oh, Imagine, it evolves at level 37, its stats aren't that good. Actually, I think it evolves at 39, actually. Its stats aren't that good, and it's weak. Like, you should be able to get it around here, like, realistically, because, you know, like, a few trainers will, like, kind of have, you get these, and you get a uh, boss coming up. But, ah, oh, it's just it's such a shame, it's like a missed opportunity. Because when you get Glamier later on, it's just before the 6th gym, and there's no point then, like... And it's pure normal type as well. Um, but 
yeah, anyway, once you've done that, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep rambling on, rambling on, rambling on. And before there was a clown uh, blocking the building, um, and then it became uh, this guy. Uh, oh, that was very good, nicely done, truly really excellent. And he's like, I'm now going to let you go into GB Life TV, TV because you're a superstar. <laughs> And, um, you know, my guys are uh, blushing and all that, like, <laughs> thank you, like, so flattering. Um, but anyway, we're going to go into Jubilife TV. And there is a very, 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 very low chance that you get a Master Ball out of this. But just know that it is possible. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Um, it's never happened to me. But basically, they're going to give you... A number and you can get a reward. It can be a berry, it can be a ball. Yeah, but most of the time you're gonna get no match. Um, also, there will be a person in Diamond and Pearl standing here, and you'll fight them, and they'll be about level 17 or something. You can fight them and uh, battle them. So it's gonna be good XP. Um, but it can be someone with Alpha Pikachu, or Mr. Mime, or something. Just you can go there every day. It'll be a new trainer. You can fight them. But I'm gonna go heal up and I'll be back. And there we go, we are back. Oh, this music. Oh, so good. It's good. Oh, it's even better at night. This is the one theme that night time, it just sounds better. Um, but here we are. We're on Route 204 now. And you know what? We're fighting Bidoof right now. Might as well catch him. You're going to need one of these uh, in order to do high gems. You don't need, need to, but... If you're going to be doing this, definitely, definitely, definitely catch a bit of. Um, especially for now, because I don't really expect you to have a full team at this point. Even though there are some good Pokemon about, um, I definitely suggest you catch Bidoof in order to do high attempts and stuff for you. Bidoof. A comparison revealed that Bidoof's front teeth grow at the same rate as Rattatus. Can't tell Pokemon, you can't get it in this game until you beat the game. But... Every single bit of I catch, I always call it Gerald. I just do. It's just what I do. There's this girl in my class as well. She goes, what do I call my uh, guinea pig that I just got or a hamster? I can't remember. I don't know. I just shouted Gerald. This is a girl as well. But you know what? Gerald's gender neutral now. Anyway, something I've got to mention is you're actually less likely to fight uh, wild Pokemon. Uh, they're less likely to pop up in the grass if you're walking. Um, you can still fight them, obviously, but if you walk, it's less likely to happen. And here we go. Route 204 is now going to be taken care of. As you see where we're going now. Now, you could have done this back in uh, when we went to Jubilife the first time. But I just wanted to leave it a bit first because we might as well do it when we actually have to. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we're going to use Quick Attack. And I'm going to go over the Pokemon you can find here. Now, you can find Zubat at night, and the rest are Wurmple, Starly, Bidoof, Cricketart, Shinx, and Bidoo. Now, Bidoo is a new one. Uh, Bidoo, when fully, well, it's going to evolve first through ha happiness, so you probably won't be able to happiness evolve it until it gets into, like, the late 20s. That's what happens with mine usually anyway. Um... But yeah, just make sure you, that if you're using it, that you don't make it faint. Obviously, you are, I guess you're not going to intentionally do it anyway, but just try not to make that happen. If you get a car bar, sink, or anything like that, give it to Bidu because it's going to speed up the process of uh, evolution. And then once it's a Roselia, um, I ran the 6th gym uh, in Iron Island. There's going to be a shiny stone in there for you, which you're then going to be uh, able to evolve it into Rose Raid. Now, Rose Raid... One of the best grass types uh, in this game. Good H good stats all around, especially in speed, special defense, and special attack. Its special attack is at 125, which is some of the highest in this game. If you want a grass type, I definitely, definitely, definitely uh, suggest uh, Rose Raid. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using one, <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to leave it a bit first. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I've got this Pokemon of Thought and another Pokemon, so I could still use this, but I'm just not going to be catching the Bidoof here. You're able to catch Roselia later on anyway, so I might be doing that. Might be catching another one. 
Uh, my team's kind of flip-flopping still. I've got some ideas. I'm, I know one Pokemon I'm definitely going to be using, and it's a typing that I've never used yet on, on the channel. It's the, one of the only types I haven't used on any of my Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, you can also catch Wormpool here. But I'm going to uh, talk about Wormpool um, at another area, because he's going to be a lot more common, and also Wormpool can only be found uh, at morning and in the day. If you're playing at night, you're not going to be able to find one of them. It's a pure bug type. Um, and very weak at the moment, so I don't suggest that you catch one yet. Um, and also, the Wormpool is also only in Platinum um, that you can catch on that route. Anyway, this cave doesn't have anything new to offer us. It's literally, um, I don't know what I'm doing right there. I've got to teach Rock Smash to uh, Bidoof. But yeah, this cave, all you can find in here is Zubat and Geodude, which I've already spoke about. But yeah, if you didn't catch them up, uh, if you didn't catch them in the Olberg Gate or Olberg Mine, you're able to do so in here. Um, but the levels are a little bit lower as well. And that TM39 is here, Rock Tomb. Uh, I believe 60 power. It's always 60 or 80. I get mixed up. Uh, 50 in this game. They buff it up later on until 60, I'm pretty sure. But Rock Tomb's not a good move, I won't lie. You can drop the opponent's accuracy. Wait, no, is it speed or accuracy? I'm get oh, Okay, speed. <laughs> I had to check, I had to check. Loads the, the opposing Pokemon speed, but 80% chance and 50 power. That is not very good. I don't suggest that you teach that to your Pokemon. The better rock type moves. But Monferno can actually learn that from uh, that TM right there as well. Uh, but yeah, now we are up here. Dun 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 dun. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. Um, that's kind of how I imagine her, even though she's probably like, What are you to the scent of flowers? But uh, yes, all of the people around here are a bunch of hippies. Uh, a lot of them are a bunch of floroma ladies. Uh, but yeah, here we go. But who's going down? And that is it. Sonic one shot with you. How do you feel? Pretty unconscious. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's kind of that's kind of edgy. I want to lie. Anyway, double team. This is gonna raise your Pokémon's evasiveness, which means that the opponent is less likely to hit you. And we're not really using Growl, so we might as well. I probably won't use double team too much, but hey ho, it's there. So worst comes to worst, we can use it um, if I really need to. This is a new Pokémon we can't actually catch just yet, but we're gonna be able to catch. Once we've uh, done what we're going to be doing in the next episode, um, but I'll talk about that more then. But that's Shuribi, a grass type, pretty good Pokemon, but when it evolves, it's pretty bland and looks very ugly. Anyway, there we go. Here's an awakening. It's going to, uh, you know, you already know what else that's going to do. It's going to heal your Pokemon from uh, being asleep. But here we go. We got another bug catcher. There's Sonic. It's literally the best Pokemon for around here. Uh, also, if you picked up a Zubat. This is going to be a good point to be able to um, level it up and um, just keep using Leech Life because a lot of the Pokemon around here are Grass types and as soon as it gets Wing Attack just keep spamming that round here because a Flying or a Fire type round here is going to let you breeze right through and the next gym is a Grass type so you're going to need, need to make sure you either got good Bug type move, good Flying move or a good Fire move. And with that being said Dark's coming up next. <laughs> you know what, Cricket Dark's uh, <laughs> cry isn't actually that bad. <laughs> but Cricket Dunes is better. Once you hear that, woo, it's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, there we go, it is down. And Bug Catcher Brandon is down. I'm not going to be able to catch the charms of Bug Pokemon. He said something like that. Anyway, Sonic is evolving. Doesn't take long, as soon as you hit level 14. Sonic's gonna evolve, I guess, Starly. Here we go. Buddy, you've been great so far. It's gonna be get even greater. <laughs> Congratulations, your Sonic evolved to Staravia. And with that, we now have Staravia. <laughs> okay, so this right here is gonna be a double battle, unless you only have one Pokemon left. Um, if you only have one Pokemon, <laughs> um, Available, or you, all the rest of your Pokemon have fainted, which that's probably the more likely option that the rest of your Pokemon have fainted. 
Uh, these two won't even fight you. You can literally just walk past them because it's the du uh, double battle. But if you don't want it to be a double battle, you can um, talk to them and you can fight them in individually. But I suggest that you do it in a double battle because there's not too many double battles and you know they're fun. So why not? Uh, but anyway. Pachirisus, this is the electric type that I was talking about, uh, that Shinx is better than, and this is the Pokemon that you probably don't want to catch. Pachirisu doesn't evolve, and it's very boring, and it's stats aren't very good either, but I guess it's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> Not really though, Pachirisu, I don't know. He's literally like a bootleg Pikachu of this game. Uh, you know, we're just going to keep focusing on the same one now, this might actually be able to, and, uh, enough to take it out, who knows, we get very close. But yeah, here we go. Pachirisu is actually able to be caught on the next area that we're going to be going to. Not the town, but <laughs> uh, the location. Now, I believe Quick Attack's doing a little more than Water Gun, so I'm going to make Quick Attack to go back to the next Pachirisu. And we're going to scratch um, this Pachirisu here. And it's going to go down. Honestly. He's just been trying us really this episode. <laughs> uh, this video. And with that, Poseidon was very close to leveling up in the last part. And he's never gonna do so. Now at level 14 we're going to learn at Disable. Now this is gonna stop the opponent uh, from using the move that he just used uh, for five turns. Pretty good. Um, water sport I haven't used yet and it weakens the power of fire type moves. Um, but there we go. I'm gonna get rid of that. Or the cyber. And here we go. Pachirisu is going to go down now. Um, but yeah, honestly, <laughs> not too much going on right now. We just gotta take him out. Um, this is the stuff I'd usually um, cut out, but there's still stuff happening, I guess. So, hey ho! I keep saying hey ho! What the hell? I never say hey ho unless I'm recording. What the hell? I don't know what that is. Uh, anyway, this up here. Is another HM. Okay, what's going on? Why am I pushing? Sorry. <laughs> this is the HM tree for cut. As there's rock smash, that's cut. That's another HM that I'm gonna need. But yeah, you're not gonna need to worry about that tree just yet. Here is TM09 Bullet Seed. I move that can hit up to five turns. And um, we we'll usually only hit two to five. Um, Ten power, grass type move. Anyway, with that. List how this song sounds nothing like the other version while it's at night. But yeah, next time that you're going to be hearing this music, I'm probably going to be, uh, it's going to be during the day, so you're actually going to be able to hear the better version of this song. But next time, we're going to be heading into the Valley Windworks and taking care of all of the dirty business uh, going on around here. Do not take that out of context. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video and goodbye.